Oh, you know what time it is. No? Oh, it's 2 p.m. That's pretty cool. Hello, my gravy babies, and welcome back to the ISAR Productions channel, where we're taking on the Hoi 4 A to Z challenge, where I play every single style nation in the style of Hoi 4, and there are all these poor nations, so that's we read them that in a video. And if you watched the last Hoi 4 A to Z episode, you'd know that when we hit 630,000 subscribers, I'm going to be doing seven days of Hoi 4 A to Z to speed this bad boy up. That's right, there'll be a video every day for seven days so if you want to see that hit the sub button we're getting pretty close as you can see and um oh my god i need to stop pre-recording and today we are in the letter d d for d's nuts that's right i got you again and we are back in road to 56 where everyone looks like a shiny potato and today i'm very happy to say we're going to be playing a nation i've never really played before are they good are they bad they're probably bad now obviously the reason we are in row to 56 is because the dutch east indies does not have a focus tree well they kind of do if you play the netherlands but uh then we'd have to play the netherlands which is an in d it's d for D's nut. You need to stop letting your guard down. I'm just going to keep getting you over and over again. Come on, pay attention. I refuse to believe that this man is actually called Bonifacius Cornelius De Jongi. I think this might be a cartoon villain. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, other than maybe like a, a randomizer or something, I don't think I've ever willingly played the Dutch D's Indies. For good reason, of course. And the uh, Road to 56 does give us a focus tree, albeit a very small one. Probably bigger than the base game Italy one, though. Now, of course, we start off a colony of the Dutch, and a very, very integrated one at that. Uh, which means we we don't really have a lot going for us. That's all right. Me and my happy boy, Bonifacius Cornelius de Jongi. Well, actually, not my boy. I'm probably going to get rid of you, old chap. Uh, so, it's safe to say, even though we are a pretty big nation with a lot of manpower and quite a few nice resources, they unfortunately are all being sucked away by the Dutch leech. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get rid of those guys as soon as I figure out where I actually wanna go here. Now we do have a lot of rubber to export as the Dutch East Indies, which is great, which is probably, yep, yeah, that's the only way we're actually getting any civilians right now. They're also being stolen by those DAMN DUTCH BASTARDS! Oh, so, oh sorry, Bonifacius. It's, um, there's nothing personal. I just hate you. Now, I don't want to worry anyone, but uh, I have, I have actually read into history before. Don't know a lot about Dutch East Indies, but I do know that somebody's got their eye on us. Oh, I politely asked the Netherlands for naval autonomy. They said no. I will remember this. I, I mean, I was considering staying with you. Um... Uh, but, um, sorry, uh, as much as I really would have, you refused naval autonomy, so I'm gonna go with the Kiban Kitan. And that sounds very fun to say out loud, so we're just gonna go with the Kiban Kitan, Kiban Kitan, Kiban... I really hope I don't die to the Japanese. I think I might die to the Japanese. Oh, I think it's safe to say we're definitely telling the Dutch what we think of them. Now, I'm sorry, Bonifacius, but you can't sneak around me trying to, you know, curtail my autonomy. I can hear you coming a mile away because you're wearing those silly little wooden shoes. Our Bonifacius just, just retired and got replaced by a man who not only is a potato, but ate every potato around him. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta say though, I, I much preferred <laughs> Bonifacius to A.T. Van Stark and Brock. So uh, you wonder what we're up to? Uh, the answer's nothing. We are just slowly gaining autonomy and eventually we will go to a puppet. When we go to a puppet, we can break free over here. Uh, until then though, I'm just watching Mr. Potato Head himself. I'm slowly losing my mind. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I lost it ages ago. Oh. I didn't even realize you could switch meanwhile you were uh, under someone. That's... That's incredibly interesting. I, I don't think I've... Have I ever seen that before? I, I had no idea you could, um... You could actually switch government while you're a puppet, but uh, I guess the, the more you the more you learn, no. Oh god, I just need 200 political power and I can go free. If I, don't, I don't know, yep, yep. I thought that might be coming. And in I get dragged. This was great! Never mind, as soon as they capitulated, I got freedom, so <laughs> we're out of here! Alright, now we are free, and we are stuck at war with the Axis now, and also our country sucks balls, but hey, it's uh, it's looking up. 
right? I, I've literally done nothing but research like submarine tech too, because I'm just preparing for the inevitable onslaught of Japanese to come kill me, because they could even take China, there's going to be a lot of them, I imagine. Oh, Japan just lost the China war, which happens a lot in Road 56, and I just changed country and colors. Cool flag, though. Uh, that does mean Japan's only got one place to go now, though. And, uh, not really ready. Oh, God, I'm getting a ton of lonelies from the, uh, the AI, though. The only problem is I have no damn calm voice to actually accept it. Oh, what a surprise to nobody. Uh, the absolute worst part about it is that I don't have to just defend my land. I also have to defend the brain-dead AI's land, which is... Bordering me. Oh my god, I, I did some expansion. The Portuguese gave me two more. Oh my god, am I am I taking attrition in my own land? Where do I live? Oh, Japan declared war on the Philippines, but didn't declare war on me. Uh <laughs> Sure, why not? <laughs> I hope this bit of saboteuring from inside the Allies doesn't come back to bite me in the ass. Oh my god, the power of Indonesia, look at that! Power! Fear our might and little hat! Uh, and now, besides declaring war on my Allies and Japan, uh, that's our expansion done. Uh, I don't actually know what we're gonna do. Um, we could have attacked China, but there's no way we can beat them. Especially in Road of 56, they are like turbo charged beyond belief and uh, I think we're gonna mess with you and Japan hasn't declared war on us yet so I guess I can't really turn my back on one foe to create another per se so I guess I'll help in Europe maybe uh, although I am in a deficit because of all the lend lease of almost a thousand convoys so that's just great ah well, this is where the fun begins. You know, you just kind of get yourself in the middle of something that you just never wanted to be in the middle of. And everything just sucks. Uh, our economy is just, it's terrible. We got 39 factories and everyone around us is dying. Thankfully, the submarines are capturing a lot of Japanese convoys, which is some hope. But our industrial base is just so terrible. We can't really produce anything of worth. So all I've got is infantry with some artillery in them. And I don't even have guns to do it. Oh wait! Suck on that Japan! Yeah, this is uh, it's gonna be our best bet to just get the subs out and start intercepting any Japanese convoys and landings. Um, like that. All around me are familiar faces. <laughs> Yeah, bonus this is that I am killing a lot of Japanese troops here very, very easy. I've also decided to bravely run away from Papua New Guinea because there's no resources, manpower, or factories here, and it's a waste of my time. Uh, so far, it's pretty good just to let them land because I think overall we have killed 300,000 <laughs> Japanese people just from their failed landing. And of course, that is nothing to the AI. They are willing to lose millions, so we're going to be here a while. Uh, we also got to hope that uh, if we keep up with our submarines, uh, we are losing a few, but we are just making better ones over time because I am uh, researching sub fours right now. They're 150 days away. The more damage we do them, the less convoys Japan's gonna have and when they're down to no convoys they can't military invade us and they will starve on their island where they belong so you gotta be careful of Brunei these guys just landed on the port by lucky they just walked out of it or else that could have gone pretty badly you have wasted so many infantry divisions how many do you even have that's, that's literally none you probably had an extra 50 before I killed them all. I, I guess you're also willingly invaded in Papua New Guinea, so I'm assuming you're taking quite a bit of attrition over there too. I, I just wish we had some sort of industry because we could probably do so much Japan, but we, we don't have anything. I, I was very wishful m making these medium tanks because they're never going to get built ever. Oh, hot damn. We also just took down a, a heavy cruiser right there. That's just one of... 5 million Japanese ships we need to take out. God, maybe if I went naval bombers, we'd probably do a lot better here, but the respecking at this point is gonna take a while. Oh, well, the Japanese have got fed up of me killing them. They've decided to start killing themselves. I've now got 627,000 of them, which is pretty good. Um... This will actually piece us out too if these guys win. Oh, there you go. Thanks, America. Thanks for liberating Papua New Guinea. Uh, it looks like you're having... No supply issues there whatsoever. Oh, and there you go. 
that was the war with Japan. Oh, still a war with Thailand, though. But if they're gone now, maybe I can invade them and get a bit of land. That's right, we've been waiting in the shadows for so long, but the great counterattack begins today. We'll show the world what we're made of. Our steel, our might, our absolute fuel. Oh, Chinese already took Bangkok. Oh, you know what? You can't say I didn't help with the war against Germany because I just took Kuala Lumpur back from them. I don't know how they had it in the first place, but I'm helping. Uh, I guess now that there's no real threats over here, and I think China's on our side because they're at war with the Germans because wh whatever, um, I guess we'll try and help in Europe. Yeah, I really do feel like I may be on the wrong side of this war, but you know, <laughs> sometimes you just gotta do your best. Polish battleship. No, it's a British one, but they've stuck a Polish flag next to it. <laughs> oh, my D-Day forces are arriving. Uh, they do all suck, except my shock troopers. Never used these before. Uh, see if they're any good. And uh, I'm, not, I'm not really bothered if I lose all these guys. Because they suck. But hey, if, if it works, then we're, uh, we're helping out the war effort, guys. Looks like the war's wrapping up, though. Oh, God. I do not know what's happening in Europe, but everywhere I look, it ain't pretty. Oh god, the AI is just like death stacking more troops onto all these fronts. Like, come on, guys! <laughs> like, wh where is this stack going? Where can you guys fit? Are you going to Norway? Because there's no room in Norway! Oh god, if I land in Normandy, the AI is just gonna kill me the attrition, aren't they? They're gonna murder me. Oh! Nobody ever said this job was easy. No. Fighting them on the beaches, though. There ain't no one to fight. Uh, I guess we'll just have a peaceful little walk and uh, enjoy the view. Uh, again, so literally, this is there's no special infantry. This is just 20 whiff and then my shark troopers, which are seven twos. But uh, I guess the Germans just <laughs> have had enough. And let it be known that it was the brave Indonesian shock troopers that liberated Paris. Oh, God. <laughs> Here comes the horde. <laughs> no. uh, you know what? I think we're going to pull out of France now and try and land in actual Germany, so um, hopefully the AI has this. Oh my god, everywhere we land, there is no one to stop us. I gotta make a beeline for Berlin. <laughs> Indonesia must take it. Come on, let's do it. Let's get in there. <laughs> yes! <laughs> and they say I was useless with my 56 factories in 1943. Well, now I've got 70. <laughs> they laughed at us, but who's laughing? In fact, no, I don't think the Germans laughed at us. They probably looked at us confusingly as we were probably supposed to be on their side. Now, at least the good thing about Rota 56 is that, um, you can make some pretty overpowered infantry, but I've never used shock troopers before. They, yeah, they seem pretty interesting, and, uh, they do a lot of damage from what I can tell so far. Uh, I mean, once again, though, apparently I've only got 4% war participation. I think I just won this war, guys. Can you have some respect? Also, how, how absolute chad is it that it is these Indonesian units freeing the Netherlands right now? <laughs> I'm here for the reparations. Hand over those clocks, my friends. Oh, God, you secure a front and then the supply just disappears in seconds. Oh my god. We just went ahead. We sank the Schleswig-Holstein. I'm pretty sure this is like a really outdated battleship they had, but uh, we sunk it. Oh, there goes the Germans and all the job we can really do. Uh, I'm pretty sure we just gotta wait for Hungary and somehow Italy is still holding on in Milan. I'm just gonna go ahead and preemptively send my guys home. <laughs> oh. It's been a good war, fellas. I'll leave you guys to clean up the mess. Oh! We got player left peace conferences on. Yeah, yeah, Thailand, obviously, that belongs to me. Germany, I did take them out, so I should get to puppet them. That all makes sense, really. Italy? I mean, I, I had a lot of work. I basically won that war for you guys. I can be compensated, can't I? Romania? Yeah, yeah. Romania, I think that used to be Indonesian land anyway before the Dutch came along. Something, you know, that's how we're gonna spin it. Ireland? Yeah, Ireland is an oppressed people. Um, they can come hang out with us. We we were an oppressed people too, you know. Uh, same with the, the Spanish oppressed by their sleeping habits in the middle of the day. Oh, I guess I, I don't get Germany. They just 
turn into east and west Germany regardless. But I got the rest of everyone. Look at that. I know, there you go. I know it wasn't the most interesting game in the world, but uh, unfortunately not all of these are going to be too interesting. It is the Dutch East Indies after all, and there wasn't really any cool mods for them, but uh, I thought Road of 56 would give it a go, and it was pretty boring. But hey, regardless, I ended up having a bit of fun there at the end, invading Germany and France. That was that was pretty good meme, uh, albeit they were completely beaten to a pulp at that point, so it wasn't exactly hard. And obviously, killing all the Japanese troops landing was pretty fun too. So yeah, it was definitely an interesting experience for my first time playing Dutch East Indies. I wonder if they'll ever get a focus tree themselves, not the Dutch one that they get if you move over there. Would be very interesting to see. But yeah. I guess until next time, guys, remember to hit the subscribe button, get to 230k subscribers, and I'll catch you all on the Flippity Flip. flip.